going to let you hold that one. Uh, Jack, you have to say a few words for us, a few words. It is not easy to lay still for one minute. You try to lay still for 11 hours in a pile of dead bodies. And you have to remember what will go through your mind when you lay there. And finally, that I could be able to jump up. I didn't expect that after laying there for 11 hours. But I made it. There was just one German guard walking around the pile of dead bodies. I was able to jump up and kill that son of a gun. I took his uniform, and just at that time a truck came, and they said, I was in uniform, they said, Gehen Sie nach Weimar? In other words, are you going to Weimar? Yeah. He thought I was going to the girls and the beer and the booze, and yeah, I didn't mind that. So, yeah. So I got at the camp uh, gate, and I was lucky. I was the only one on board of that truck. I was sitting all the way in front, and of course in uniform. And I took his rifle too. I made sure that I had a weapon with me. And he looked at me and he said, "Okay." And I went out of camp. Then I came at the second gate, the same thing. And I thought, gosh, I never knew it was so easy to get out of a death camp. But it was all my luck. When I came out, I came in a farmer's house. And the farm woman at that time asked me, what can I do for you? He said, I'm hungry and I'm lost. She said, no, why don't you come in? Later on, when I talked to the family, I found out that this woman knew that I was an escapee of Buchenwald. And he never said a word because he laid her own life on the line because if the Gestapo would have found out that she would have helped me eating and give her a place. She would have been killed too. So just to show you, I don't hate all the German people, just the Nazis. And believe me, I took care of a lot of them. They cannot speak against me anymore. But I have lived in all this time here in Rapid City. That is over 55 years now. It is a good time. It is a good place. When we look on the coast, what's coming up now in New York, they can have it. They can have it what they have in California. And we're sitting here with 60, 70 degrees, and you just look up, and uh, like there's nothing going on. So I love Rapid City and the people in it. Thank you very much.